Yeah, so anyway, welcome in, everybody. Have to remember to look at the right camera. Um, we are playing Destined now for two adventures, um, which is almost like Mithras. It's the Mithras rule set, but in superhero um, land. So all the players are actually superheroes. There's a mixture of secret identities and not secret identities. They adventure in a place called Metro City, which is a, a made up town, roughly or city, roughly of the same level of technology as we are at the moment. It has lots of really interesting people in and the party have. So I'm not going to call you a party. I'm going to call you a team. Because I think a uh, superhero team sounds better. The the team have adventured before with various other people, um, but we're coming together with uh, a new band, a new band of people. And what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to do some experience roles because the players, uh, Banner, Misty and Rabbit, had eight experience roles from last adventure. So what this means is that um, rather than going up levels, Destin doesn't have a level system. What it has is um, you use your experience roles to increase your skills or to gain new powers or to gain new boosts or to get rid of limits. So they need, they are rolling that first. Um, what generally happens is that if they want to increase a skill, they roll their skill level plus their intelligence and they, they need to get um, the, sorry, they need to get either their skill level or above. And if they do that, they gain 1D, um, 1D4 plus 1. So, sorry, they rolled a, a D100 plus their intelligence. And then their skill level goes up. And the skills levels can go right the way up past 100. They just can keep going and keep going no matter what. But a 96 to 100 is always a fail no matter what. Um, they can gain new they nobody will be able to gain a new core power because it takes 15 core um, experience roles for that. Um, but some of them might want to gain a new boost or get rid of a limit, um, so forth and so on. So we're going to do that first. Then we're going to have introductions and then we're going to start the adventure. And we always start everything like this um, with Mr. Pickles, so who plays a character called Rabbit. So <laughs> I've just Except had, last time where you tricked me. <laughs> yeah, I, I've just had a, a weird um, message come through from Banner. Uh, Sorry, I, I thought I was going to tell me what it is. I, was like, I, I try to remember Banner as a whole. Banner Crash. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> crashed into a wall. Oh yes. Now, now, just to let you know, um, Misty, I changed yours. If you've got a limit on your character sheet, it might have lost the title of it. Um, that's because there's a bug in the character sheet, and don't label anything new as a limit, um, because if you do, it just wipes out the whole um, skill. It just, uh, the whole power, it just goes. So, um, Misty, I wrote yours in, but I'll have a look at rabbits and banners as I go along. So, yes, Mr. Pickles, rabbit, um, you've got some experience roles to go for. Uh, what would um, you like to do? I'll make it easy. I'm putting them all into skills because I like my powers as they are. Um, so the first two I'm going to throw into athletics. Um, so okay. here's the first improvement rule. Uh, what is your athletics? Oh, yes, yeah, 70, 78%. Off you go. That's a good start. In. And here's my second one. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted. Nice. Not really? Um, okay, 76. Uh, the next one is going to go into Fast and Furious, my combat style with quarterstaff and clubs. Pow. Perfect. Oh. Getting all the so. bad rolls so you guys don't have to. Um, uh, point into unarmed. Perfect. Yes, exactly one point. I am getting progress. <laughs> That's um, four done. Halfway through. Let's see. Then I want to put two into perception. Oh, nice. 
Nice. Yeah, it's okay. Heck yeah. That perception's okay, so rocketing up. And the last two I want to put into sleight of hand. Ooh. <laughs> Not the best. Come on. What is it? It's only 50, isn't it? So it's. Yeah. Now 50, it's 51. 51. Wow. 52. 52. Yeah. yeah. Not and not the me. best. Not the best. Um, that's all done. We'll come to you, Misty, next. Um, eight rolls. What would you like to do? I'm only using two rolls. I'm going to save six. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody wants a new power. <laughs> yeah, ultimate power. Um, right, so I'm going to improve my reputation. Okay. Oh, that's what I want. I want to click improve, don't I? There we go. Yeah. Of course, that's up by 2%. That goes up by 2%. And my other one is influence. Nice. Which is three percent. It goes up by that's a good roll. 110. Very nice. Um yeah. Um so that's it. No no more from you. Yeah. No, that's it. Yeah, hold on. Oh, okay then. And so we go to um banner. Um I'm just looking real quick. Uh we're we're doing allotments with this one, right? Allotments is uh like how much you know. Uh, resources you have yeah so you can oh hang on mm -hmm. you can use mm, mm, mm. um so you you just roll the the allotment should be a skill and then mm -hmm. you just roll it as normal and remember um so if you because your allotments is 30 it's like a tenth of what your skill is so and we're round up so no matter what you get it will actually take it up to your number of personal allotments up to four if you you okay. know no matter what so yeah so it just works I'll, like uh, a skill that. well yeah all right i will let's do this let's do allotments first i'll just i'm going to do two rolls in allotments because we have eight all together right yes eight all together yeah. Let's see if I can. All right, so I'm gonna press improve on allotments. Um, yeah, that goes up by two, so now it's thirty-two. So remember to change it to thirty-two before you roll it again. Yep. I'm gonna do it one more time. Nice. Nice. Thirty-seven. So next one, uh, I'm gonna to put towards acrobatics. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I just want to be more limber. Uh, that's all. <laughs> more you know, do, do, do more yoga with, with my with my weight training. That's all. Calisthenics. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm doing improve there. Oh, nice. Nice. You're getting all the good rolls. That's right. Because I'm believing in Lady Liberty. <laughs> um, next one will be uh, navigation. Oh, yes. For your pizza delivery. For a pizza delivery and my ability to kind of get around places. Yeah, you have so, leaping as well. E leaping who, as in... Who's Lee? <laughs> <laughs> as in you don't always have to drive. I'm sure you've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. I gotta, Just so you I know where to go. Yeah. Plus five again. That's right. Oh, good grief. That's right. These are your good rolls for the whole night. Hopefully not, but um, and then the next one would be uh, locale. Yeah, because we I probably want to be able to learn to intimidate and figure out who to intimidate. All right, that's not as bad. Great. Yeah, not a, a bit of improved to twenty nine. Yeah. Um. Three more, and then, and then th three more. All right. So, uh, I'll try locale one more time. Okay. So yeah, let's see. All right, that's a little better. So a little better, yeah, yeah, 31. 31. And then uh, next two would be one, two, athletics. Actually, hold on a second. Um, Actually, no, we'll do two, evade. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll do two, evade. Yeah, plus one. And then the next, the last one of the night will be to my... My fighting skill, as I call it, patriotic fortitude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's better. Not, well, 88. Yeah, 88. 
Uh, brilliant. Right. And, and that's everybody done and dusted, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then. So we the na the title of this adventure, by the way, is Should Have Got a Flu Jab. Um, that That's the title of the adventure. And I might change it halfway through, but that'll give you a bit of an idea of where, what the adventure is about. And now we're going to do introductions and we're going to do introductions for the stream, but also introductions to allow um, Chuggawugga to introduce him, his character to you all. Um, Darth says, welcome back, Mr. Chuggawugga um, hey, uh, in, in the chat. OK, then. So um, let's start with the speed demon of the group. Um, Mr. Pickles, tell us all about Rabbit. I am Mr. Pickles and I am playing Rabbit. Uh, her real name is Lily Alex. Um, she is from the countryside, rural background. She is a, has a slight career in brawling, but that's not too profitable, hence why her social class is impoverished. She's very, very fast, especially by Mithras standards. She's also really, really lucky which is good because of her speed. Um, she's really good at crowd control. She has a quarter staff that she's able to use to knock people around, but she's not really that good at dealing tons of damage, especially to armored targets. She has regeneration, so even though she might get knocked down quite a bit, she can get back up. Um, and uh, overall, most people probably find her forgettable or maybe a little annoying. Her charisma is rather low and she talks quite a bit. Um, which makes it so people don't really listen to her, especially Banner. Um, and she and has a limit as well. So talk She about has two limits. Um, yeah. If she stops eating um, for, I think, six or eight hours, then she starts to go into a very bad situation where she eventually dies. <laughs> she uh, is passionate about going fast, and she's required to go fast. So anytime she's in a small area, um, like that airlock that we went into in the last adventure, she starts yep. to panic pretty much immediately. And that's not fun for anybody, um, especially Banner. Um, she's not terribly intimidating. She's small, um, but she is a uh, she is crowd control. And with that, I will toss the microphone, if I'm allowed, yeah. to her comrade, played by Medivac. Why? Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Medivac, and I play Sophia Sampson, aka Misty. Um, she's a lawyer by day. Or sometimes during the day, well, night time. Well. <laughs> um, but she's also um, a water controlling lady. She can fly. She can create um, mists. Mists, <laughs> and things, yes. Um, and she can also create ele elementals. Um, you can, and, yeah. Yeah, and I use my power also to create shields and things like this. Um, yeah, she's very she she's quite rich. She was from a rich family, which was assassinated by the mob, um, which she's looking into, which is why she became a lawyer in the first place, um, to look out for these things. Uh, she also sometimes houses rabbits who does little jobs for her on the side. Um, that's how they met. Ooh. Um and a regular pizza delivery guy, you'll be speaking to soon. Um but yeah, she has a nice office in the city and a nice house in the hills. Uh, where we tend to meet up to discuss things that we are doing. Uh, and with that, I shall pass on to said pizza man. Um, I shall pass to Captain Kangaroo. Hi, everyone. I'm Captain Kangaroo. And uh, tonight I'm playing Banner. Uh, he is the very, very strong um, strong guy of the group. He has a shield that's, that's able to thro be thrown and then retracted. Very original idea. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he, his... Keep it part-time clean. job keep is, it clean is a, please <laughs> okay keep it clean. i haven't got past the five minute mark yet uh, <laughs> just keep it clean for the introduction <laughs> we um he, he's a part-time job as, as a pizza delivery man most important job in uh the city i'm assuming um and he drives around a beat up uh was it H honda uh honda civic honda civic yeah <laughs> with lots and lots of dents um <laughs> It's twenty years old and it only has it only runs on two uh, uh, cylinders, but still, and it's quite light because you pick it up and it, rub with it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually get further <laughs> with it while I pick it up, <laughs> but <laughs> nonetheless, it's very important um, because it is it is the freedom of you. Um, I'll keep it uh, keep it nice and short for for intervals because I know he uh, 
wants to make sure this stays on YouTube. So I'm going to pass the mic to Chugawaga. Hi guys, I'm Chugawaga. The hero that I'm going to be playing has taken the name of Astro. Uh, they resemble what most would consider a typical alien, genderless humanoid, bluish gray skin, large forehead and black almond shaped eyes. It's one of the limits that he has. He has a distinctive appearance. Um, he's from a different world, or they're from a different world, which is over 100,000 light years from this Earth. And they arrived through a portal that was created through the combined power and mind of hundreds of Astro species. And why is he here? Well, Astro's world is a dying and they are looking for an alternative where they can rehouse. So the ability to create portals is something that Astro also has, although theirs is limited to a, a range of a few kilometers rather than hundreds of thousands of, of light years. When it comes to communicating, Astro is a telepath, so he doesn't speak out loud at all. He doesn't even possess vocal cords. So if you feel the slightest of touches on your mind, chances are Astro has something to say. Uh, they also have the power of um, precognition. So they'll occasionally glimpse something which is going to be happening moments before it actually does. And given enough time, and if they put their big mind to the task, they can even relive a person's life or see what's interacted with a, an object for up to several days in the past. But this as well comes with its downfalls because, well, the universe doesn't like people messing with time. So there is a good chance that um, he will have a, a backlash, a cosmic backlash and take damage, get fatigued, lose powers or or something similar. Uh, he's currently um, found employment in the National uh, Museum in Metro City um, as a researcher, and his specialised field is advanced cultures. So he's there to find out whether or not these older antiquities and artefacts are actually not from the past, but something from the, from the future. And that is my character, Astro. And I shall pass on to Inwills. Fantastic. So just so party members know, um, Astro, Astro communicates with you all telepathically. Um, Medivac, Misty has no problems with magic. I just want no, to no, say no. that. My only problem I do have is I feel a slight tingle or a touch. I'm looking for a priest. <laughs> hey, I'm genderless. <laughs> So, okay then, so let's uh, dive into the first adventure. And just to remind you, um, Metro City has a, a television broadcasting channel called Network 7. And we always start the adventure or a session with uh, a Network 7 update. And it's going to be exactly the same today. As the screen changes from your normal um, videos or television programs that you're watching and across the screen comes the two words breaking news and shortly to switch to a rather young prim rather smartly dressed woman stood some way away from the police station in metro city you can see it in the background and it looks like it's being cornered off and there seems to be over the other side of the street and she starts to um, talk hello I, I i am reporting from you on the edge of an exclusion zone around the capital police building it appears that the local peace force has caught a nasty bug wait wait here comes shirley springer the chief of police to provide a statement shirley shirley has the police force been taken out with man flu please please let me give you an update on the situation rather than answering questions i will give you an opportunity to answer questions later on 
10 a.m. yesterday, we were forced to seal the police building after several officers were struck down with an unknown virus. We are currently trying to find the source of the virus and create a possible antidote. But this has left the police working on reduced staffing levels. We have the crew that had just finished the night duty coming back into work and we have cancelled all leaves. So we have a skeleton staff patrolling the streets. If needed, we can also recall any officer who has taken recently taken early retirement. OK, um, any questions? Uh, uh, is there any information about the effects of the virus? Thank you, Kent. Um, the virus causes a fever and then numbs the extremities. So feet, fingers, ears. Well, you get the general idea. Unfortunately, these are all very important parts of any law enforcer. Well, what, what was the cause of this attack, please? Now, Beth, let's not start using those words. At this point, it could just be a nasty bug that has spread rapidly. We are looking into the causes and will provide updates every hour. Um, uh, uh, Shirley, has it only affected the police officers in the building? Um, good question, Zane. I should have mentioned that the perps in the building have also been affected, but our priorities are currently focused on the law enforcer personnel. And, and, and should the public be concerned by this attack? I mean, outbreak. Thank you, Sue. At this moment, there appears to be no cases outside the police building. We have set up a new holding building down at the waterfront, an unused warehouse for anyone arrested with the, by the police while the building is out of action. Um, if I may address the people of Metro City now, just go about your normal business. I am sure we will soon have all of this under control. And, and surely, uh, yes. Uh, are you calling in the supers to help with the police, to police the streets? I don't feel this situation is at, at that level of threat at the moment. You make us all sound as if we, as in the police, can't look after the people of Metro City. But be assured, we if the things get out of hand, we will have to consider bringing the supers in. Now, no, no, thank you all for your questions. And I will be providing hourly updates until the situation is resolved. And remember, please continue to be law-abiding citizens. We trust you all. Thank you, everyone. And she turns round and hurries back to what appears to be uh, a pavilion, a, a makeshift tent that she um, disappears um, into. We will say that you are all at Misty's um, building, um, lawyer building or home, Misty. It's it's completely up to you where you are at. Yeah. Maybe at home rather than at the okay. office. Well, my goodness, what what do you make of that? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. They it must wait. not be bad if, if if they're not calling us out yet. No, that's true. It is no. probably just just man flu. Astor yeah. is going to have already um, done a party line so that he's um, he's speaking um, via telepathy with with everybody. If yeah. that's okay with everybody. And his voice comes into people's mind and he says, it seems strange that only the people in the building have been affected. Affected. It, it is very localised, isn't it? I wonder if something okay, can put in the that. air conditioning. Or maybe the water. Water. Or maybe they're all just too slow to outrun it. Yeah. Um, your, your, um, 
Mr. Your um, communicator goes off, the one that's linked to calls coming in from the police. Um, the caller ID comes up that it's um, Shirley Springer, Chief of Police. Now, this is my alter ego one, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Hello, Shirley. What can I do for you? <laughs> Supers, I'm sorry for my words on the broadcast, but I didn't want to spread panic throughout the city. We are running the police with less than a skeleton staff, and we really need your support here. The undesirable population of Metra has seen this reduction in the police force an opportunity for crime. We are monitoring the cops alerts. Um, those are citizens on patrol, if you remember. So they come as they come in and we would like to direct some of you to the more serious ones. If you would be able to deal with that, w w would that be acceptable team? Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Shirley. Also, um, as we gain any updates about the virus, we would like you to take charge of following up the leads. I can't really trust ev anybody in the actual police force at the moment. We are not too sure whether or not this could be an inside job. Plus, we know that you supers, or well, hopefully we know your supers, will be uh, immune to this nasty bug. I mean, your supers, you know, you can withstand the, the common flu or something like that. Plus, I know you will not want to put the members of police in danger. If you could keep this between us, I would appreciate it. We don't want to incite more violence and crime throughout the throughout Metro City. I have assigned a dispatcher um, who will be in touch with you should anything need to be um, sorted. Uh, his name is Officer Ollie Orson. No problem, Ollie Shirley. Orson. It's almost oh, like we should be oh. on the payroll. Ha, ha, ha. I know that you do this uh, for love rather than money. Anyway, I've love got liberty. I've got places to be and people to well sort out. Please stay on this line. Do not act unless you get clean and verified instructions. And she she seems to pause, and you see her eyes because she has a video at her side, seems to be looking um, off to one side where Banner is stood at the moment. She probably can't see you where you are, but that's what she seems to be um, doing. And she sort of like, she says, um, right, uh, we, Officer um, Ollie will be Wait. in touch. Yeah, I'll just click her off for now. Yeah. Don't just to let you know. To a drivel. Just to let you know, my um, roll 20 has um, well, gone we're blank we're still, we're still got, I've, yeah, I've still got we're a blank still on black, yeah. I've refreshed several times. I've still got black as well. Have you allocated tokens to the screen? Well, I should be, you know what you're doing. Sorry. <laughs> I've, I've checked the stream, and the, the stream's got stuff on. It's just... Uh, no, it hasn't, it hasn't now. All oh, right, it, it did have. It did have, uh, because mine's gone black now. So, so that that's the issue with that. But it's it's not a problem. It's not a problem so far. Theater of the mind. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the dice rolling that I'm a bit worried about. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that for you know the entire thing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we can just, we can just no one uses any skills. Yeah, just just pick a number. I, uh, I, I, I've, I've got I've got my own dice here. So I just roll them and say, "Oh, I've got one percent below my skill." That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, perfect! Oh, again, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, then. So, what would you like to do? Uh, I will be opening my fridge so uh, Rabbit can just go for it and, and load up. Well, everyone, as an amateur immunologist, <laughs> I'm a pretty <laughs> well known. <laughs> We all know you're an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> I've pretty I've done my research. I think you should all do your research too. Oh no. 
Well, I guess this must actually be pretty serious if they are calling us in after lying about not calling us in on the phone or on the on the TV. Yeah, I think that's purely PR. But um, is it worth? Right, I'll tell you, it's a good idea. I'm going to ask. Well, I'll do it myself, maybe. But um, so do the computer search for anything like this happening before. There are isolated outbreaks of flu in a contained okay. area. Yeah. Um, does anybody else wish to do anything at this point or not? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Um, I would, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I need to verify things are true and I want to go fast. So it, would it be possible to run to the police station, do a few laps around, confirm it's all locked down? Um, yeah, that, that's, that's not, not a problem uh, at all. Um, oh, for me, roll 20 keeps loading in and then it says, ah, snap, something went wrong when displaying this page. That's just, I can't get any any further than that. So, um. Um, Astro, if possible, would like to help Misty. I don't know whether or not there's a sort of like a, a group role or anything like that that they can do. Uh, are you looking for the the same thing? Yeah, or are you... sort of like in, information on whether or not anything like this has ever been um, recorded. You know, in the in the past. Okay, so or what whether you... or not there's actually been any um, any people, villains, or whatever that have had the ability to um, do viruses. Got yeah. Okay, then wait. So... We were just dealing with that last adventure, weren't we? With the uh, they had the gases that made people really, really strong, and the gases that made people mm. do something mm -hmm. else. Yeah, the the, the go size cotton. That was the the, the broken down warehouse, wasn't it? Yeah, they, you um, you were meeting. Um, that was the f the first adventure that you did when um, you had to. Um, there was a bug going round, and they were injecting people into trial subjects. And some of them came out with power, and you ended up having a battle, the final battle in, in a night car park. And, oh, sorry, in, in, in a yeah. club. Yeah, in the in the nightclub. That's where you had the um, the sort of like the final battle for that one. And then your last adventure was all about um, the relic hunter when they were searching for an unknown that, relic. That was a creep. That was a coven, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a, a group called the Coven. Um, yeah, that you didn't track down necessarily, is... you but you took down somebody who was um, called um, Eclipse um, in that. Previously uh, on... <laughs> yeah. So... I, I only mention it because you might want to research that too. If there's any pharmaceutical company that could be d doing any of this or aiding this or maybe that, you know, anything. Mm. No, good call. Good call. I do agree with you, Rabbit. We can't be trusting of these pharmacists. <laughs> like okay, now I'm leaving the building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Um, uh, so... Astro's, Astro's voice is going to come over the telepathic link, and he's going to say, perhaps someone should speak to the one who has taken the name Shirley Springer to see whether or not anything has happened in the precinct, any maintenance has been done. If they've had issues with the air conditioning or the water, supply. please don't send banner. Please. <laughs> well, Rabbit's going to the building anyway, so he can ask her. Going to the tent and ask her anyway. Can't Rabbit? I, I, I will spread back. Yes, can do. I think I probably only picked up the telepathy, but yes, can do. <laughs> Okay. Now, is there any rough roofings? Rough, uh, any people I should be inter interrogating myself, or sh should I do something constructive? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> what, whatever you would like, Banner. I, but I would All like right. extra pepperoni, please. We, we <laughs> charge a lot extra for that. We're in a recession. I, I've now got... Uh, what? What's your world 20s like now? Black, uh, black screen, black. My yeah. mine's just saying loading, 
and it keeps loading and loading the same things over and over again. It's just clicking, uh, clicking through it. Uh, I wonder if my rolls work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so your rolls... Yeah, sure. so your roles uh, are work. It's just not the picture that we've um, got up at the moment. So, so let's let's start with. Um, so, is Misty and Astro Astro um, researching separately or researching together? If it's separately, then you can do individual roles. If it's together, then we need the highest role that, that is augmented by the the lowest role. Um, you yeah, can well, you can do two separate searches and search for different things if you wish. I suppose we could do because I've got, I do have a couple of computers in this in this room. So I've got my, my table one, and then mm. I've got the one in the corner. So yeah, we can do separate. We can do, do, do separate yeah. separate searches. Okay then. So let's do um, Misty search about the um, whether or not there's been anything. Oh. Um, that's not what I want. I Sorry. want you. I want your research. So computers is doing oh, programming. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the one the, that we sorry. want. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So you sort of, how far back do you want to go? That's 18 months. Okay, then. So um, Metro City is coming into winter at the moment. So there's often a high percentage of um, infections and the, the globe, the city stats that come from the national um, um, hospital that I was just trying to think what it's called. Uh, 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 Saviour Sanctum is the hospital. It sort of like publishes various um, infection rates. There, there seems to be... Um, a normal increase in flu and virus, what, et cetera. What, what I'm looking for is things like maybe if um, um, a, a block of houses, a, blo a block of flats been infected, just that one block. Yeah. So a lot of people I, from a very similar address. Yeah. yeah. So what I was going to say is that although there seems to be a, a rise in infection, um, they seem to, this don't, it does not appear to, um, be localized um, at all. It just seems to be across uh, metro city. There's no sort of like information um, or no um, data or um, any, there, there's no information about a localized um, in infection at all in the last 18 months. So the police station appears to be a lot more rare. It doesn't sort of like match any yeah. correlation or correlation to anything. Not like an old people's home. They've been all of a sudden. Yeah. And that, like that, that probably <laughs> would have been more of a, a, a place that you might in, expect yeah. um, something to go off, not the um, police um, station. Sort of like an office block or anything. No. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, um, Astro, do you want to roll your research? So Astro's Astro is going to go down more of the route of um, cases of this happening. You know whether or not there's any um, terrorist organisations that have adopted anything similar in the past, or any super villains that um, have the same sort of like powers, or whether or not there's actually any um, anything being found. Um, you know, like artifacts or anything that um, that was capable of doing the same thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, roll your um, your research. Um, so you've got an augment on there. I don't know what I don't know what that is. If you go to the top of your yeah. character sheet, um, it should. Hang on, I'll come in and. Um, I've got a whole load of stuff on the top. I've got a 101 plus 101. No, can theism. you can you see where it says augmentation set 13? Yeah. Just yeah. just delete the 13. That's it. And, and did, that's, it add, did it add 13 onto it? Yeah, mine did the same, which means I would have failed mine anyway. 
yeah so we it, it's it's not a problem we we'll go we'll go from from um it, it should add 13 onto your skill um so you would just or onto your roll so it doesn't oh, you, right so if you take 13 off yeah it doesn't matter because your your skill is, is 74. 74 so it, it put your research up to 84 that's that's what it did well, mine was 13 so it would have been 87 87 it it yeah to, so it would have given me a standard yeah so so that's fine um so yeah, not that i would have made it sorry yes yeah, 71 yeah. I put mine up to 78 so, so um sorry astro what what did you want to research so I was looking to see whether or not there was any um, terrorist organisations, supervillains, anything that have, had ever adopted something similar to what, um, or maybe on a, a, a something what started off with what's happening in the police station and maybe got got worse. Okay. And so also looking to see whether or not there's ever been any artefacts that have been found which you know so the, the 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 first the thing is effect. the the super villains are actually coming to light the same time as the superheroes are so to speak so um apart from the villains that the party has already encountered um, so Eclipse and Agony and Ecstasy that they've been involved in, um, which was something to do with um, uh, some kind of virus, but it was more, um, it was a chemical in, injected into people that made them mutate rather than giving them um, a virus. Apart from that, you do find um, several... Um, news, almost like news reports um, from um, a variety of sources that sort of like says um, things about um, illegal scientists or people doing um, cutting edge technology. And some people, some of the scientists have been shut down because of the illegal um, aspects of their um, experiments or their, they, they call them investigations rather than um, experiments. And there seems to be um, a few of those ranging from a Dr. Platt, who was um, a rather thin looking woman with tied back hair and circular glasses, um, who has a rather a pointy nose, but seems very um, almost like um, neglected in the way she doesn't look like she's eaten for a huge amount of time. Um, and the, the there's others. There's um, Doctor Jones, who seems to be a um, a male, a rather rotund male who was actually, believe it or not, um, injecting um, people of the slums with um, a, what they he thought was a truth serum. But it actually caused um, virus um, outbreaks of a rash and welts and um, oozing sores to appear um, all over the um, injected subjects. Um, those are the only two recent ones. Um, both were tried and uh, tried, uh, trialed, and they were both convicted and they were both um, sentenced to, um, well, one's life, the, um, the one who was injecting his life. And Dr. Oh, Dr. Platt is due out of prison in. Uh, what are we three months time okay and the last thing that he wants to do is just a quick uh a quick research sort of like going on to the news um the news web pages stuff like that and to see whether or not there's been any um uh, any crimes reported near the um any the the closest waterworks in a metro city break-ins or anything like that in the waterworks, as in the the 
I mean, is there is there something that controls the water distribution to Metro what, City, what, like a water reclamation plant, that sort of thing? Yeah, like like a sewage works. Yeah, yeah. no, there, there's not no break-ins or anything like that that have been reported um, okay. at all. Um, right, um, Rabbit, you have um, shot down to the police building. Um, as you arrive, you notice that it does indeed appear to be um, cornered off. There's that um, radiation hazard tape right the way around, and there seems to be um, what there doesn't seem to be a huge police guard present, which is what you would expect if they're running on a skeleton staff. There seems to be a couple of makeshift um, tents that have been put up, almost like army hospital tents. Um, each one of these has uh, a police um, constable on guard duty outside. Um, one tent seems to be purely human's police officers and things like that and technicians going in and out of the other one is rather um, people in um, hazmat suits um, going into the building and out of the building as they come out of the building there's almost like a make makeshift um, shower setup that they have to um, walk through and scrub down their um their outfits as, as they move through it. And then that other tent seems to be, that one is sealed. Um, so the flaps are sort of like sealed down. And that seems to be, you probably think maybe something to do with the investigation about what it is and where it's come from. There is a huge um, population. There's a huge amount of the population of Metro City outside looking in and there's a uh, network seven reporters and there's some other minor stations also like hustling and just and jostling people out the way to get the um, main shot which is looking at the reporter with the building behind and um, there seems to be a lot of people looking and talking, et cetera. Um, is the idea, are you speeding past or are you stopping? Um, I, I, I would want to initially get a good view of the building because my good buddy Astro, who can tolerate my racing thoughts, um, at suggested... the moment, you're out of you're out of range at the moment. It's it's a limited range that I can do it with. So you you're no longer in um telepathic yeah um, but before i left um yeah. you had suggested maybe checking for maintenance or any yeah. like mm -hmm. uh repair projects so i'd want to take a look around see if there's anything that would suggest like oh we were fixing our hvac system on the roof or that's a busted window we're trying to repair things okay uh, anything so, like that would be my first goal so you're you're keeping at speed i'm assuming or are you stopping uh, I got to go fast. Yeah. Okay, then. So roll your um, perception and let me know. And we'll let's see what you see. Aha, yeah, I failed. <laughs> uh, are you looking it at all or not? Um. Oh, my gosh. This is the system. Okay. Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm locking it. Um, one so, point down. Say again, sorry. One, one point down. You've got um, like 37 points on you. No, I've got six. Oh, um, I, so here's my yeah. roll. Oh, that's your actual point, isn't it? Oh, oh it goes from nothing to uh, a, a awesome. career. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so any information I give you at the moment is completely and utterly correct. Okay. okay. Um, first of all, there is no sign to of any damage or anything like that to the building at all. It looks in prime condition. It doesn't look like any break-ins or anything like that. But be, because you um, have a, a, a critical, I'm going to actually allow you to see something that you didn't initially ask about, if that makes sense. So as you're sort of like um, speeding round and having a, a quick look, 
um, you do notice that as you speed past the, the tent, not the sealed tent, the other sealed tent, you do notice that um, Shirley Springer is in there and she seems to be talking to um, a man who is in a very smart suit. And you actually do recognize him because you have done um, a job for him and um, before oh. in, in fact um i think one of you saved his life i can't remember who it is so you recognize Jack him uh, yeah um it's that would have been me on that's, the roof that's the guy who wants to punch his lights out wasn't it yeah so jack stone is the ceo of the leaders of enterprise which are the four main big companies well they're millionaires and they control the sort of like the business sector of um, Metro. Jack Stone was, uh, is a, a goodie, is a goodie. And if you remember, he got um, taken over by some kind yeah. of pheromone. And that's what was happening up on the um, roof. But as you zoom past, you just sort of like, as you go past the flap of the tent and the flap of the tent moves momentarily, uh, as you speed past, you see him in there talking to um, Shirley Springer. It, it looks like it's quite a, it's not a heated debate, but there there is finger pointing um, if that makes sense. You also notice in that tent that a lot of the police's tech um, seems to be in there and there's um, cables going that seem to connect to the outside of the building. So it looks like um, maybe... Do you have a computer skill? Um, I believe that's a professional skill and I do not. Okay, then they see all the cables seem to be going into an outlet on the wall of the police building. Um, yeah, so you you um, see that as you as you speed round. Um, yeah, anything else that you would like to do? Um, well, that's actually a lot of good information that I need to report back. So I'm going to go to the big boy burgers, uh, get a couple burgers, and then I will go to the taco shack, get a couple burritos, and then I'll go back to them. I think it's called, um, is it not called tiny tacos? Oh, uh, well, I don't feel like tiny tacos today. Oh, um, right. Mostly because I want burritos, but if I wanted tacos, I'd go to tiny tacos. Right. Um, so whereabouts are you going? <laughs> uh, <big> burritos. <laughs> burgers, burritos, then back to my comrades to report what I've seen. Got, got yeah. Um, you. Are you going to pizza slobs? Um, <laughs> That's... <laughs> You know what? Actually, let's do uh, tiny tacos, then pizza slobs, then we'll go there. I, I can just combine the tacos with the pizza. Okay, then. Um, so you um, pick up uh, a whole load of food to, to various <laughs> cries of um, excitement when you appear in the um, place. Um, there are people there who see you as, as you suddenly slow down. And, you know, they, they there's various people asking for um, your... Um, autograph uh, and something like that and um as you pick up the the last part of the food um you you hear somebody in the background shout should you be helping the police rather than getting food i am helping the police this food is necessary <laughs> and you're not not too sure where you know it came from behind you but you know when you look around it, it, there's no nobody stood up or anything everybody's looking at their um the dinner plates or food plates etc as you pick it up and then rush back to um base <laughs> so astro's is sort of like in work mode at the moment he loves doing um research um he just wants to do one more one more bit of research before rabbit gets back um they want to they want to look to see what else is happening in the news at the moment any big stories but try to find something that it could be to the advantage if the police force was out of action for it so uh, like um a criminal being moved or you know gold oh. bullion being bought into the 
into this city or you know something that it could be so do, advantageous do you... if if the police presence wasn't as as high okay so are you looking for items that are in the news or do you want me to tell you anything that is in the news that might be suspicious because those two those are two different Sorry, things say them again do you want me to tell you what's in the news at the present moment in time? Or do you want me to say, do you want me to filter that out for you and just yeah. tell you anything that might be um, yeah. so suspicious? He'll, 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 he'll sort of like filter the things out that he doesn't feel are relevant. So you just tell me. Well, across all the news channels, the um, the biggest story at the moment uh, and it's the one that everybody's reporting on is that the um, the police force in a metro city is under attack. That That's what everybody is talking mm -hmm. about. And there's a lot of people have brought in experts and they're, they're doing interviews and there's um, – scientists from the university talking about how long uh, a virus like this could work and um, last for somebody else is talking about the fact that it's probably been um, brought into the police station with rats um, because they they consider that metro city has a rat problem and they've been canvassing the um, the mayor um, for some time about this um there's there's even um there's a lot of the time people are talking about sport in metro city and the um the savior stadium uh metro's f um, football team there but there's not even that being mentioned every now and again uh a score had come up, but it seems that across the news feed, everything is talking about the police force. And most of them, despite what Shirley Springer has said, are actually running stories that say things like um, so and so, so and so under attack, Metro police under attack. Metro police not doing this, so forth and and so on. So it, it's it's a it's a massive um, um, story at the moment. It really is, and it's taking up a huge amount of space, etc. So bouncing on that same idea, I've not heard anything through my criminal knowledge channels of any like mobs to be moved or or um the same sort of thing that um or any transactions big big things happening in the town on this particular day that are scheduled for today no there there no, there's no, no space rocket launch or anything no no nothing at all oh i'm back was I'm i able to find to... oh cool yeah yeah was i able You're to being... find anything while pumbling my ne'er do wells my uh my Rascalians was was able to intimidate some information out of them. So this this is who I'm yeah, coming to roles. to next after Rabbit. Um. So yeah, Banner, what what I what's going to be your plan? Essentially, uh, I don't know which which role I would choose to do first. It'd probably do something and then intimidate. But essentially, be going through the uh, uh, the probably the the lower class areas of the city and see if anyone knows any information. So pretty much just like knocking out and punching people and pretty much torturing people uh, until <laughs> I, I, I learned some information, even if it's not accurate information, probably it's information. They're just like, yeah, I saw someone go in there. I don't know who I don't break my arm kind of thing. Okay. Then. Um, so I, I'm yeah. assuming that you're going to the, the slum areas is. Yeah. Is that, yeah. And be, before you do this, you you are aware that you might be filmed while doing this, which could lead to reputation changes of either you or you and the group. I want to make sure you are aware of that sure, before you, you could do it. <laughs> before you start hitting people. 
Well, I, I, you know, I have to look around first and I have to see some people are potentially doing some crime. And the second they do crime, that means they are a lower class citizen. So it's, it's easy for me to then come up with the, the strength the, to uh, pummel them around for information. Oh, oh okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, it, I, I think it. <laughs> I think if I'm reading what Banner wants to do, you want to the go. The literature is to interrogate them. Well, I, I think no matter what, um, Banner is having some kind of psychotic episode. And, no, that's and, just after he started watching the news uh, yeah, religiously. And yeah. he's, he's going down to the slum area, which is quite big in Metro City, and yeah. picking on slum people you know even if they don't even if their crime is not looking at banner nicely <laughs> and picking them up and knocking them out or intimidating well, no i asked her a question first yeah yeah where's the scientist, yeah. Yeah. Where's okay. The scientist now? Uh, okay you don't then. know so you you um you you find uh, a couple of what appears to be um teenagers um, they seem to be about 17 or 18 as, as you're walking through the um, slums and they they seem to be spraying um, on a wall, which um, is probably an act of um, graffiti. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so you, you, you go you go over to them. Yeah, tell me what you would like to do. Clearly henchmen, kill them. Um, first thing, I'm going to approach from behind as a spraying painting. Yeah, Do you have any to... idea what you're doing? You're defacing <sighs> our beautiful city. And they, they sort of like, um, are you just talking to them or are you intimidating them for... Um, I'm going to go answer. for intimidation first. Okay, so you need... Um, I need a result what you want them um, to do. Um, and you see what I mean? So I so want it, them to cower or, or, or even some of them to run. But essentially, I, I'm looking to... Uh, to instill my size and my strength against them into hoping that they just do what I ask them to do. Okay. then. so roll your um, intimidation. It'll be an opposed role via their willpower. Um, so you, you've got um, 58 on your um, Ooh. thing. So, so they, they failed their, um, uh, you succeed in your um, intimidation and they just sort of like turn around and um, sort of like look very scared um, at you. Which one of you knows information on who attacked the police? And they, 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 they both sort of like uh, look at each other and say, we, we, we don't know anything, mister. I told you, do not trick me, damn it. This is serious business. We, 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 we don't know anything at all. We were just spraying this wall. Um, he walks up to one of the, uh, the teenagers and picks them up by the, sh the shirt collar and lifts them up. Yeah. I said, tell me what do you know about the crime in the city? And he, he just sort of like says, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. He then throws him towards another uh, of his friends. Okay. Make your uh, unarmed um, combat roll. Uh -huh. Yeah. You um, fling him off um, to, to one side. Uh, I need you to make. Um, uh, a, just a hit location uh, and a damage roll. You won't need the special for it. <laughs> I'll do a, I'll do a damage roll of unarmed. <laughs> yeah, you sort of like um, fling him off to. I, I need a, a, a hit location. So roll a one d twenty. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you sort of like fling him off to one side and you're, you're super strong. So he sails across the, um, uh, almost like to the other side of the um, street and sort of like whacks uh, into the wall and slides down. And you notice there's a bit of blood um, on on the back wall and he slides down and he seems to be um, out for the, the count. Uh, you know, also notice that the other person um, drops the spray can and uh, makes um, a dash for it. And this sort of like starts to um, run, a run away. What would you like to do? Um, I want to do a quick run and jump and see if I can jump right to where I'm in front of him. Yeah, um, you, yeah. you, you can... Um, you can what's your um leaping um what's the stat for that it's a it's a power so i don't know if it's all oh, right yeah be. so so you can um you can uh, um activate that power and jump in yeah. front and you sort of like land and he's just sort of like he's busy look looking behind and he just walks mm. um straight um in front just sort of like bashes straight into you um i pick him up as well by the collar. Yeah. Tell all your friends. If they deface this again, if I catch them defacing this beautiful city, they'll have to deal with me one punch at a time. You notice that um, just at the doorway to the building, uh, there, there seems to be a, a woman who, who looks... Um, very, very um, shocked and she sort of like um, looks at you and she sort of like shouts at you put my young boy down ma'am did you know your boy is a criminal he was defacing the city she says you should but deal this with is my house set by your hand. this is my house um, ma'am, this is an alleyway. You don't live in alleyways, do you? She does. Yeah, it's my house. We've got well, nothing. Well, you should we take have... advantage of capitalism because you're way behind. We, we, oh, and yeah, as, as you look at it, Bannon, now, <laughs> you suddenly realize that it looks like it's almost like you. That, that they that they were um um spraying um on and uh, he, she said um the, she sort of like says where, where where's my other son um <laughs> better <laughs> kind of <laughs> he kind of just gently tosses the other one um uh down and then, uh, well, good luck, ma'am. <laughs> and she sees, she sees her injured um, son over at one side. And as you jump away, she sort of like gets them both together. And you see there's quite um, a crowd um, being um, a around now. And yeah, you head back off to... Um, uh, Misty's house where everybody um, is. Um, Misty, you notice something. You're sort of like at the computer going through um, everything when you you notice that the there's almost like a flurry on the on social media talking mm. about a rampaging bull um, injuring innocent children um in the downtown slums and you know you 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 switch over to the social media feeds and you you literally see through shaky camera phones um banner there who sort of like um literally that there's nothing of the before bit there's just the bit that when Banner sort of like, there's no sound or anything. He just sort of like picks up somebody, shakes him, and then hurls him across the um, the street. And the camera sort of like follows follows the flying body as it crashes into uh, a wall. And then um, you then it stops, and you can see him with this other boy. And then there's this destroyed 
distraught mother. And there's various headlines coming up saying things like, uh, psychotic super runs amok in, in the slums. Who is this person who is killing our citizens? And you see all that sort of like coming up just as rabbit, you get back with um, food and Banner returns with a bounding leap um, into... Rabbit, the... I have a problem. I need a bit of PR control here. What do you mean we have... Uh, no, we uh, there, there's... What do you mean yeah, PR? I'll, we have, I'll, we have I'll, information. I'll show, I'll show Rabbit the, uh, the social feed. Oh, oh, well, that's just banner. So we don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> I, I found a lot of things about about the police station. We have so much information to go off of. I need you guys to help me because I can't do things properly because I don't know anything about computers or, or wires or cables or what they could possibly be doing. There's a whole tent full of these wires, cables, computers, everything. But they're going towards the building. I think they might have something to do with what's going on in there. They might be yeah. trying to <laughs> like assess things. And and, and 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 there's also this this tent where I saw Robert. Robert, Jack Stone, breathe, you know, the guy who pays breathe, us. Breathe. <laughs> oh, hey guys, how you doing? That's all right. Um, I think the, the the cables going to the um, the building, Robert, will be so they can still use all the internal computers, but outside. You can roll your yeah. um. You can roll your computer skill. But can I? I'll take. Can I take minutes to ponder this? Oh, yeah, you can do. That's fine. Thank you. You think thinking they're so long. Why do you think so long? They're probably t- <laughs> patching into the network and things like that. Mm. But 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 there was also Jack Stone and and, and Shirley, the, the the police chief lady. They were talking. They were pointing fingers, and it seems like they're having some sort of discussion. But I'm not very uh, like stealthy or anything, so I couldn't get in there to try and see what was going on because I thought they might notice me. And I don't think Banner is very stealthy either. We need both of you two here to to help figure out what's going on. We have some leads now. We can figure out what's going on. Well, much I dislike Jack Stone. He is a good guy. He pays our bills. I didn't know he you did disliked him. Bills. Yeah, wasn't he? The, <laughs> uh, wasn't he? Wasn't he like the sexist person? No, he was the one I prevented from falling or off like the roof the because sexiest. he got poisoned oh, by the sexist poison. Who oh. am I thinking of? The sexist one who was in the office when we first met. No, that <laughs> was Jack Stone. That was Jack Stone. <laughs> But he's only sexist towards you because you have a weird power dynamic with him, and I thought you guys were actually flirting. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> he was per- perfectly a gentleman to me because he has no interest in me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps um, if you are familiar with the one who has taken the name Jack Stone, you could ring him. Uh, no, he doesn't take my phone calls anymore. He says I talk too much. Um, while they're doing all this, I, I, uh, I will ring Jack Stone just to find out <laughs> what his involvement in this is. While they're doing all this, you see Banner get some ramen. Um, instead of putting the seasoning packet in it, he dumps the seasoning packet, fills the seasoning packet full of protein powder, and then dumps this that into the ramen before putting it in the microwave. What I'll do protein is protein ramen. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna ring Jack Stone from my with no flavor. <laughs> From my super oh. phone, but I'll copy the number from my phone because I think I've only ever contacted him through my from Samson's from Sophia's phone. Yeah, so I'll I'll, I'll ring the number from the team phone. Yeah, uh, initially it goes straight through to um, voicemail. This is Jack Stone. Leave a message, and I'm bound to get back in touch with you. <laughs> Beep. Put it off, and I'll try again. You've reached the phone of Jack Stone. I can't come to the phone at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, this is Misty. Ring me, please. Well, hang on. At at that point, Misty, you notice two things. Um, The social media um, coverage of Banner's exploits is um gathering speed there's quite a few memes of him now um oh. with various faces superimposed of him um there's also um a hashtag that's developing on social media um that is um hashtag supers to jail um that it, that is um, coming up and that's gathering a whole load of um um 
Function. Well, uh, yeah, well, um, support. Um, and it, it seems you suddenly recognise um, a lot of people who might have been outwardly um, against um, um, supers to start off with, sort of like getting on the um, bandwagon. And just before we um, go to the break, um, you also get... Um, Coming through to Misty's phone, um, you get um, a text message from um, Shirley um, Springer that just says, um, I forget the acronym, but the it's what the, is it WTF? Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it just <laughs> says that. What, what the, the Frank? And, and underneath it, um, an image of um um banner who is now um dressed in pure um rambo style um so his his lycra top is all torn off and he's got a head bang on head bang uh, on and in one hand he's got what appears to be a huge ak97 um rifle and 47. On, 47. Uh, yeah. No, the 97 <laughs> ones are bigger. Carry 97, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, in, and in the other hand, uh, there's um, a dangling, poor, downtrodden um, person. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Just like uh, he, Banner's holding him by the um, hair and sort of like going, ah, like, like this. And that might literally be a real photo of Banner. Those- when he Does was you have those gangster glasses and a cigar coming out? Um, not yet, but uh, it will soon be coming. Okay, um, we're going to take our break there. Um, we will be back at quarter to the hour. Um, quarter to the hour. So please do go off and grab something to eat and something to drink. And then we'll come back as the supervillains of Metro City continue to exercise their power over the poor and unfortunate minions. We'll see you back here real soon. And remember to say, oh, banner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we're back. Let me just move um, people around. Um, I just need to do two of you, Medivac and Captain, and then that's that's it. Right. Let's try. Uh, let Let's try going forward. Yeah. Um, I, I I think when you move cameras around, you do to break a bunch of music. Yeah. <laughs> No, because I'll get a hit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get a hit uh, uh, for copyright, won't I? Then I won't be able to monetize on YouTube. So. I got I got a hit on my my um, YouTube for listening to the UEFA Cup final and, and playing the last ever episode of Baldur's Gate Three when we finished it. Oh no! <laughs> it was like crap. So I had to take it all out. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's dive straight back into the action. Um, Banner, right in. Banner has arrived from assaulting um, innocent people in the slums. Rabbit oh, has come really. back with um, food. And Misty, you've just had um, a text first. Text message, sorry, yes. And then... Um, from Shirley Springer, and then you have an incoming call. Um, the um, I caller ID is um, saying that it is um, Officer Oliver Orson. I will answer it, and I will use Misty's voice. And yes, he he says message here from from the police. There seems to be a disturbance down in the um, main high street in Metro. Um, Shirley Springer would like you to go and see. There seems to be some rioting and breaking into shops, etc. Thank you, um, Officer Oliver. He says, no problem, ma'am, and ends the course. Officer Orson, sorry, yes. 
Bonner, we need to talk now. Oh, how can I help you, Misty? You are going to have to do some serious ass kissing when we go to the high street. Have you seen what's on social media? Have you looked at these videos? Have you um, just destroying two boys? <laughs> I, I think I would remember if I was destroyed. <laughs> two that's, boys. Sorry, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Was it wearing blindfolds in that one? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I would know if I destroyed two boys. Hashtag fake news, Misty. I'll show him the video. Yeah. It's, mm. it, it looks like you in action. You do know that if somebody takes a video of you, Banner, they can change it to change the way it looks. Mm, and yeah. They haven't put on what started it. I'm assuming she didn't pick up two random kids and just beat the crap out of them. No, they were doing some naughty things, such as spray I, painting, I, defacing I, I, I assume so. I assume they're doing something wrong because you... <laughs> okay. But well, I just feel somebody, like... I, if somebody yeah. cuts off the first start of that video and just shows you beating up two kids, it looks bad. So we True. need to put this in some context. You need to apolo- uh, speak to Shirley, sing her, apologise to her, give her the full details... And we need to jump on this. But more importantly, guys, we have a call. There's a disturbance of the main high street. Let's gear up and get out there. Well, I guess so. It's going to be more crowd control by the looks of it. It's just rob- people just looting. Um, so don't go hands heavy. Okay, fine. I'll pull my punches. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pop into my um, bedroom and quickly get changed. Yep. Yeah, um, armor equip. Yeah. Now, I have some, uh, because it's so cold out, because it's getting wintertime, I, I do have a new function on my suit. Um, I got some protruding. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of skin tight. But, um... <laughs> Your background kind of blurred. That motion out. Uh, I got really sick. Thank God for green screens. I'm going to check them two plasters. <laughs> um, just say you can use me to cut some ice. Uh, I'm going to. I will start heading out and jumping from building to building to get to the main street. Okay. Destruction of public property, too. Uh, Astro <laughs> wants to um, use his knowledge of Metro Cities, um, specifically the landmarks, to um, find the closest landmark that he's familiar with mm. so that he can open a portal um, to that area. And Robert, only, we'll only you, you yeah, and only Astro can use your portals. Is that correct? Other people can use it, but they would have to delay their action to be able to go through when I open it. Got you. Okay, so roll your um, knowledge skill first. Well, I don't know. Um, That's an option. You can save some calories. Um, yep. So you can... Um, what does your portal look like? It, it starts off small and then opens out into sort of like a, um, a portal-shaped thing, and it's got the same background as my um token icon it's sort of like okay. looks like a, a starry a, a, a black purple starry um portal uh, nice nice okay then um do you, you have to use um powerpoints to activate it or is it just like um, a normal core skill um, um. The hero spends three power points as a move action to create the portal at a point within. Um, oh yeah, three kilometers. I think I can do it within. Um, uh, yeah, sixteen so, kilometers. I can. I can yeah, do it. In, um, but yeah, so three power points to do three, a far. A far three far power one. points. So, so you're going to um, easily arrive on the scene first. Because you're almost like crossing the distance 
um, instantaneously. And well, you you well, haven't got the on where, where the closest landmark is. Yeah, um, the you haven't got the invisible exit. No, boost, no. Haven't, yeah, yeah. So when he when he does go through the portal, he always makes sure that he he stands by it you know sort of like in front of it until it closes and it closes at both ends at the okay. same time so the the landmark that you chose were, was like metro city's equivalent of oxford street which is the main um street it's called um fashion parade that's what the street is actually um called and it, it's a long street that has generally it's bordered on one side by like a park, a bit like Central Park. And then on the opposite side, there's um, a huge amount of um, boutiques, posh um, shops selling mainly clothes and shoes and things like that. And you appear at one end and you can see in, in front of you there, um, there's quite a congregation on the park's side. Um, roll your perception for me. Um, yes, you, you can see that it's, it's, you think there's some activity almost like midway down the, this long street. Um, so you can start moving down um, towards it. Um, I, as you start moving down, Rabbit, you will be the the next um, person to arrive. Um, you can see Astro walking down to the, the crime scene, for want of a better word. Um, do you want to stop or do you want to continue down till you get to the actual, um, the happening part? Um, I guess my question or my answer would depend on, do, do I know Astro has a way of defending himself? Have I seen him like use a, a weapon or attack of some kind? In the you've past? never seen him do any type of attack. He, you've never seen him punch anybody, throw something at somebody. You've never seen him fire laser beams out of his eyes. Nothing. Okay. Then I, I'll, um, I'll go up to Astro and then I'll maintain the same pace as him. And if I get too bored, then I'll run a few circles around him. Okay. Um, so you are probably walking at um, Astro's um, speed. It'll be almost like shortly after you arrive. You'll probably all arrive together with the um, bounding um, banner. And the uh, and you've just got normal flight, Misty, haven't you? You've got no... Um, sonic boost or anything like that no 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 i'm on my cloud yeah okay then you're doing your monkey impression I am as, uh, right let me um let me move you across i am the less funkiest monkey if um if rabbit's the first one up to where astro is they'll do a as rabbit comes into sort of like the range i think it's like 36 meters as soon as Astro sees them, they'll start a telepathic link. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so as um everybody arrives and banner bounces into the um onto the road and Misty sort of like hovering on your cloud, you can see the following um situation. So these people down here seem to be um they they just look like rough people okay they they don't seem to be armed or anything like that they seem to be taking advantage of the the um the situation and they seem to have been um they've smashed uh, the majority of the windows down down this side. This here is a small alleyway that goes in between the shops. And they they seem to have in their possession um, clothes and handbags and things that you probably think they're, they're going to um, um, sell um rabbit oh wait do you want to put yourselves where you want to 
land or be walking because I've sort of like put your yourself in that area. But if if you want to move your tokens, where well, so there's nothing. Um, there's no barrier here. This is just a pavement, and then the park. And these are all sort of like the um, bystanders that are sort of like they clicking their phones and taking pictures of these um, hooligans. And the hooligans are sort of like playing up to the um, camera, etc. So um, Misty and Banner, is this is that where you would like to um, be when you arrive as well? Cool. Um, so, okay, where's the hooligans? Hooligans are down here? Uh, yeah. Can yeah, you see? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we can see them, yeah. I'm wondering if I can land like around here and use one of my powers. Yeah, you oh. you you can um, by all means. All right, I'm gonna do that then. Um, my one of my powers is. Oh, I sorry, we had to restart to get my character shit again. Do 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 do. I apologize for the wait. So I. Right. It's all right. I'm gonna. Die. Um, I'm going to do uh, what you call it, ground pound. Yeah. Which just link it in the chat. Uh, I remember this. This is really good. Yeah. Uh, hero smashes their fist into the ground to create a localized tremor. The hero spends three power points and makes a, a brown roll. And blah, blah, blah. You agree the rest. Uh, as they strike, that anyone standing within the made radius of half their strength in meters. So what's half your strength? Eight. Eight? Is uh, half my strength, yeah. Uh, so let me just... Is my... Eight. I think it's... Um, it's not... It should be 1.5 meters, shouldn't it, per square, because that's the same as a five-foot square. There you go. Um... How, how much is so eight yeah eight meters yeah okay then so yeah it's sort of like going to go just over the the line where you land at the moment it will sort of like hit um everyone so is, uh, is eight half your strength or is your strength eight no my strength 16 oh, eight right. is half my strength yeah yeah um so we must you i roll uh i've you roll your brawn yeah okay and is that what it says? Yeah. And then yeah, I wrong. oppose it with my athletics. Uh, and if not, I'll be um, knocked prone. While that's happening. Um, um, can I, can I, I use point of luck? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to. And reverse it to 48. Yeah. We roll it. Let's re re reverse it. So remember, it's going to be opposed by my roll. What do you think, guys? Should I just re should I re-roll it or reverse it? Forty-eight's not that bad. Um, yeah. If you estimate that these, they probably have like a sixty percent. Uh, that that's that's pretty good odds. You could do better, but I think a forty-eight is decent. I just oh. I don't want to fail. That's like a, that's like a high school report, isn't it? Could do better. Yeah. I can. <laughs> um, Ra Rabbit, can you um, roll for me a perception check? Uh, it's not for this. It's about something else. Because I'm a paranoid rabbit. I would like to use a point of luck to re-roll that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, one more luck point down. Yep. Okay. Um, do you have um, Discord open? I do. I'm uh, going to send you uh, a message uh, in Discord, and then I will roll my opposed roll. Um, um, does that make sense? Um. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um. Okay. Then. Um. I need to roll uh, an opposed roll. What was yours? Um. Forty-eight, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, they, they do succeed, but 48 actually um, wins. And you come flying down. Tell me what this looks like. So I come flying down. Obviously, I probably jumped from a nearby building, but I'm going directly right down. Um, it's actually fist facing down, uh, kind of like a superhero landing. I smash into the ground and slow motion. You see like ripples as the cement breaks around me and kind of ripples effects knocking everyone off their feet as they fall down yeah uh and you sort of like um land and breaks the concrete and these um people crumble to the ground they sort of like uh, fall down and you uh, the you hear from the um people opposite uh, a bit of uh, a, a laugh as they they point over in um, your um, general direction, um, you notice that this person. Hang on, because I've got my measure on this person here. Mm. Um, seems to be he seems to be knocked to his to the ground, but he seems to be holding his leg and go ah ah. Oh, oh, my leg, my leg. Oh, no, my leg. And there, um, he seems to be rolling uh, about on the floor. Everybody else in the sort of like the, the area is now um, prone um, on the floor. And yeah, I'm just putting their prone um, um, things on so we can get it. Uh, tell. Um, yeah, so you sort of like land like that and they sort of like um, fall to the ground. Um, I just need to check. Uh, so um, eight meters are just take you over the pavement on the opposite side, but far enough away not to hit the glass. Mm. And and they these... Uh, are all down uh, on the on the floor <coughs> now um uh, rabbit what what's what's your plan of action and then we'll come to um astro and misty um i would like to point out to astro what i just noticed about the crowd members like i i point towards uh, any of them who have bags or anything it looks like they're all stealing it's not just these guys it's it's a it's hooligans performing for thieves. Yeah, the the people in the crowd just look like uh, roll your insight, rabbit. Oh, Astro, you can roll your insight as well now that um <laughs> I'll uh, spend a point of luck to re-roll that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just cause <laughs> Nope. No. Um Astro, you using your um you know, your powerful brain and your intellect. Um, you sort of like have a look over and you come to the conclusion that the people down the other side probably, you think maybe the clothes might have been got by the hooligans and maybe thrown over in, in their direction and the citizens just seem to have rather than leaving them on the floor, I've sort of like picked them up and dropped them into their, into their bags. And once rabbit um, tells you what she's seen, you can look over as well. And there seems to be um, in this sort of like top group um, up here, there seems to be two, maybe three um, of them. And you, you notice that they look quite shocked that the um, supers um, are here and they you can see them you know turning a, a deathly pale of white um, yeah so Astro and M Misty let's come to you because you won't have known any of that at that moment so you're coming in on your cloud so you see banner land um on the um ground and the pave the tarmac crumples as it goes down these um hooligans fall on the ground and then this this is the one here 
that seems to be rolling about um, holding his knee and grabbing it. And you uh, arrive on your cloud. Okay. In a large commanding voice, large, loud even, um, I am going to command them to drop the things you have stolen. Um, uh, the hooligans on the floor. Everybody. A general, a general shout out. Yeah, yeah. So just straight ahead then to the yeah, straight the, ahead. Yeah. Well, the, so, um, these. Uh, so they start, sorry. Um, these these um, hooligans uh, on the floor don't seem to. They've naturally dropped anything when. Um, Banner, when, when, <laughs> yeah, when um, Banner um, made them go prone, they they don't seem to have any weapons or anything. They they just sort of like flung everything. So there there's a lovely negligee on the floor and a couple of pairs of shoes that are, are lying uh, about. Um, but if any of them, roll, roll your either your intimidation or your influence roll. Where, where is your intimidation roll? Because I don't have one. No, it's a it's, professional. It's a oh, professional yeah. skill. Yeah. yeah, you have to that's learn to why, be intimidating. That's why I improved that one. <laughs> yeah, you. Um, <laughs> You, they, they seem to have um, nothing in their hands, and if you notice one was about to reach and grab a handbag, and you sort of like say your speech, and he quickly um, pulls his um, arm um, uh, away from it. Um, Rabbit and Astro, um, Astro first. What, what's going to be your plan? As we were as we were approaching this this crowd, um, especially among the the thugs here, did there seem to be one that was more in charge than the rest? You know, sort of like <coughs> a louder one issuing orders or anything like no, that. No, they they all just seem to be picking up things and throwing things um, together. It doesn't look like there's one person in charge or anything. It just looks like it's a gang of youths. Okay. Um, Astra wants to start reaching out his mind and he wants to um, do a telepathic link on the one that is saying that his leg has been um, damaged. Okay, so I get a, a resist roll, don't I? Yeah, so this is a um, this is a telepathic link. So I can do it within charisma in meters, and it's a, a opposed um, willpower. Um, so your charisma must be more than eight meters, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. So my charisma's no, I, I can do it up to thirty-six meters. Can oh I? yeah, that that's fine then. So it's an opposed roll with willpower. So you roll yeah, yours. So what I the, the the thing that I have to do, though, I have to do party mind. So I have to spend a power point to add another person onto the telepathic link because okay. I've currently got Rabbit on it. Okay. So I'll then. use a power point for party mind, which is a boost, but okay. it doesn't cost me a, a power point to get the initial link on, on him. On him. Okay, then. Yeah. So um, you need to – so you're just connecting with telepathy. You're not yeah, mind so probing. I, I, no, I have to have a link to them before okay, I can then. do anything. So the yeah. first thing I need to do is is roll your uh, willpower, will get a get a link to him. Um, thir thirty six. Now that yeah. my willpower is twenty seven. Okay, so if I get a crit, I can't beat it on a normal roll. But if I get a crit, then um. He, he will make it. So if he gets three or below, um, it, it will be um, the the crit. Okay, he he fails it dramatically uh, and fumbles <laughs> it, probably because he's totally um, um, rolling about the floor in agony. And so you gain, um, you manage to link to him. Okay. As soon as I link up to him, I'll get his sort of like initial emotions, what he's going through at the moment. Yeah, he he's, he's seems to be um, broadcasting um, um, pain. He, he seems that that's what um, he's thinking about at the moment, a huge amount of um, pain. Okay. You have no idea whether or not that pale pain is 
real or not. That's what he's thinking about at the moment. Okay. That's me. That'll be me done unless you want me to go into other. Okay, then. So we're. How much I can do. Uh, we'll we'll come to um, you, Rabbit. All right, so I know you... exactly what I want to do. Um, nice. I want to charge towards um, probably this guy. Yeah. Um, the he's on the ground, so I'm gonna like jump onto him and uh, just start shouting, um, trying to get information as quickly as possible before Banner kills everybody. Is <laughs> I want to say, who who told you you could steal from here? Who sent you? Um. Yeah. So you're not. Um, intimidating, I, I do assume. have the skill, though. Oh, right. So you can intimidate then. I'm yeah. just not very intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it comes from my brawler career and my nice. background dealing with sleazy people. Anyways, pow! pow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, 25. <laughs> I, I have the skill. I'm just not very intimidating. You know, yeah, it's so, fair. It's fine. You have the skill. So you sort of like straddle this, this guy and... Ooh. And start to sort of like uh, talk rapidly at, at him, and he 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 doesn't respond with anything apart from a a, a brief smirk. Um, as you sort of like um, sh speaking really really quick astride him, and sort of like talking really quick, and he's just sort of like looks around because you're not even remotely intimidating um, at all. And he just sort of like um, smirks at you as you outpour all these words. But tell me anything. I I'll scream at him. He, he, he sort of like says, you're sat on me. Well, that's a fair point. Um, I uh, I want to look around yeah, while I'm like on top of him and uh, see if there's any other threats incoming or anything within the store because I might have a better angle at inside stores they're looting. Are there yeah, more looters? They, it it looks like they thrown bricks and things at the the windows and there's various garments that have been removed from mannequins, um, etc. And they're sort of like. Um, out on the street there's some still some bags and clothes just scattered around the place um if if anything it's just like it's almost like a a petty crime if that makes sense that's 100 percent what it feels like and so i want to i want to look up at misty and shout i forgot what we're doing here and you, you notice um as you shout that out um, a, a man sort of like steps away from the crowd. You, can you see him now? Yeah. 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 Um, he, he seems to be um, a, a reporter of some description. He's holding what appears to be a small um, handy cam in, in one hand. And you can see that he's got a wire from the cam that's going back to a lapel mic and he sort of like uh, seems to be pointing it all at um uh, yourself and he, he sort of like um shouts a um cross uh, at you and says um supers any any word for the bad guys uh, unless somebody else wants to do it first the rabbit will run up to him mm, yeah rabbit's probably faster yeah, go for um, it. Yeah. yeah. We've got this all under control. Everything's fine. You just we, we were trying to disperse everything, but we're every everything's solved. Banner has saved the day. Yeah. And he sort of like um takes his lapel mic off and sort of like um hands it to you to hold um rabbit and uh, and uh, says has has Banner attacked those people on the ground? attack them no he's just made them fall down he hasn't actually done anything to hurt them he doesn't hurt people let me show you i'm, I'm gonna reach and try and grab his camera <laughs> and, and the the microphone at the same time yeah but m my goal is to steal it out of his hands and then rush over to banner to get some really close-up good footage of banner hopefully not bashing people yeah to death. Um, so first thing you need to do is roll um a brawn check and we'll oh. oppose it with my brawn my brawn's 24 by the way just so you know I thought you were going to have me use my slight. That's okay. I'm still pretty brawny. 
So there, there's a, a, a tugging match with 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 this this camera as it goes backwards and forwards, and he, he sort of like says, "You can't steal my camera. This is a this is my own personal private property." Oh, I'm not stealing it. I'm just going to get some footage so you can see the banner's not evil. You want primal footage, right? And so somebody from the um, um, crowd um, sort of like shouts at, out and sort of like, leave him alone. And this guy and with the blue dot is sort of like, going, oh, my leg, my leg is shattered. My leg is shattered. Um, <laughs> banner, Banner, um, you haven't done anything. You've just been mm. in that superhero um, pause, pose. pose. So, so let's, let's come to you. All right. Uh, Banner will uh, stand up, brush the dust off him. There'll be no more crime today. All of you will now go back home. These ne'er-do-wells, well, they, they've been captured um, this, by the mites of Banner. This um, girl here shouts over to you, Banner, Banner, we love you. Can I have a selfie with you? Of course, citizen. He kind of brushes past the uh, others and uh, we'll get closer to the citizens for nice, um, you know, you know, selfies and autographs. And yeah. um, so one sort of like uh, comes right up to you and she sort of like hands her phone to her friend and she says, Banner, Banner, put, put your arm around me. You know, and the girl said, yeah. yeah, yeah, put your arm around her. And remember, brush your teeth, kids. And as you put your arm round her and your hand touches her her shoulder, um, she lets out a scream and goes, "Ah, my my arm!" Oh, wait, 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 my wait! Should I uh, do a roll for that? <laughs> you don't. What roll do you want to do? <laughs> you well, pose, it's supposed to be a roll for um, pose for safe selfie. Like Wasn't a, there the bull in a yeah in a shop uh, no, limitation or no, negative that's, he has? No, that's not what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Faking it for the news. And the, the, the woman is, is sort of like still filming and you can hear her saying, look, after he treated those two boys in the slums, he's attacked my friend. And I she, was just so, here for a she sort of like uh, staggers, um, um, sort of like staggers over. I don't think I'll be able to write um, uh, again. And people sort of like say, don't worry, don't worry. We saw it all. We saw it all. Um, hey, 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 now. <laughs> um, I just put my hand on her. I was, <laughs> somebody I somebody her. says, <laughs> that's what they all say. I only put my hand on her and there, there seems to be a, a bit of um, heckling coming from the um, um, crowd and somebody ho holds up their um, phone of you dressed up as Rambo uh, with that young boy's hair in their hand. Um, I don't have that uh, colour of, of, of handkerchiefs. And, and, so, and so, Astro, somebody at the back shouts, me too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Astro, <laughs> let's, let's come over to you okay so astro is going to reach out their mind even more and take control of this person i'm going to do mind control okay Ooh. which is another three power points uh ba -ba -ba, which one am i doing uh mind control i'm doing that one uh to, it's to gain another opposed um another opposed willpower check and if the hero can direct the target's actions yeah okay then so do you want to um roll your um willpower yeah uh, so mine's still um yeah i i fail you are now in control of that um uh, person okay so when it's there time to act astro wants to get them to um stand up drop whatever they've um been whatever they've got they they've got nothing in their hand okay and uh he's gonna have him put his hands up and um shout out as loud as he can we shouldn't have done this we'll take the blame for it all everybody should drop what 
they got from us and and run. Okay, yeah, he sort of like. See, I told you we stopped he, criminals, he, and now they're he, feeling bad about it. He sort of like um, stands up and uh, announces um, this. Uh, no, not at all. Oh. And but you you also notice that um, these people um, stand up and they they've got nothing um, in their um, hands um, at all. But they they go take the action to um, get back up onto their um, feet. And they sort of like make sure that they've got nothing in um, their hands um, um, either um, as he sort of like uh, this guy um, makes that announcement to everyone. Uh, and then Miss once he's made that announcement, I want him to turn around and put his hands on the on the wall uh, behind him on the glass or whatever, Do you know, like he was about to be handcuffed. Yeah, uh, that's fine. So you um, control him um, over there. Uh, Missy, what would you like to do? You haven't acted in a while. Unmute is an action you might want. Oh, I'll use the point for that. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to hover around because I, I've, I've, all I can see is these people on the ground here and Banner seems to have control there so to totally broke that uh, lady's shoulder. <clears throat> yeah, there, there seems to be quite a, a congregation uh, round. I, I will call for an ambulance. Yeah. Uh, for this gentleman's shattered leg. Yeah, he, his leg doesn't seem to appear to be shattered at all. It's, yeah. it, 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 he's walking on it absolutely fine. So he's um, a, a doctor to verify <laughs> this information. Um, he's a footballer, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, so, yeah, so you um, hover around. The, these guys um, I'm here. Literally just, yeah, I'm going to literally be looking ahead of the crowd, guarding this, these windows and watching for anything nefarious to happen. Yeah. Um, so let's let's go um, back to Rabbit and the reporter who were um, having uh, jostling over the um, cam recorder. Um, yeah, Rabbit, what would you like to do? Um seeing banner move and, and hearing this criminal uh surrendering i'm gonna pause for a moment and mm -hmm. then i'll look at him and i'll let go and i'll say uh, you know what i'm sorry sometimes i act without thinking it looks like banner's over there now you can interview him he's pretty nice sometimes most of the time uh i i, I gotta help my friends and then i'm gonna sprint over to um i guess near misty i guess sort okay. of underneath but near so that i can be closer and Figure out what to do. <laughs> okay, so this this guy t takes you up on the um, offer, and he takes his camcorder and his microphone um, over there after dusting himself off, where you know, and from the the jostling, etc. And he comes across, and he sort of like is recording Banner now and holding out uh, his microphone and saying, tell me what happened here. Tell me what happened here. And there's various crowds that um, Banner touched a lady um, inappropriately uh, and <gasps> injured her. And there's, there seems to be um, lots of people um, offering forward and, and somebody shouts at one point, um, she should get an insurance claim for this. Um, as as Banner's sort of like looking there, almost like oblivious to everything that's happening. I am the strong hero here. You know, and this I've saved you all from crime. Uh, yeah. And um, so I think, Misty, you did you say you were called for an ambulance? I mean, called for an ambulance, yeah. But I also want to, um, if Rabbit's right below me, I would say it's Rabbit. Robert, can you run around and collect all the stolen items and bring them back here? Yeah, I'll do my best, but some people are holding on to things. And I'll just sprint off without waiting for a response. Yes, yeah, so the the um, stuff on the road you can collect um, quite easily. Um, the, the two I want to use the power to do it, though. Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, because I don't want people thinking that I'm nefarious. I want to just collect it as quick as possible. So I want to use hyperspeed. Um, let's see. The second one that um, I'll post it. Shit. Thank um, you. Alternatively, the hero can perform a task or extend a task much faster than normal, dividing the normal amount of time by their speed multiplier by spending two power points. 
Yeah, nice. The, the first part is the uh, combat thing. Yeah, got um, it. So I'm going to do hyperspeed to... Uh, yeah. So that's... Th is that th a cost of three and then an additional cost of two? Um, I think there are two different options you can use this power for. Um, right. Spends three power points to it. double their speed. Uh or an extended task outside. Alternative, yeah. So you can do two power points and quickly do the um, task. So yeah, you you go around sort of like um, collecting all these things up. Um, you do notice that the two people you saw up here, um, as you can see from the the picture, they they are no longer um, there. You do notice that this woman here has something in her handbag um, that could possibly be a stolen um, item of clothing. Um, but you, you're you getting quite a handful, an armful of stuff now. So where um, before you, number one, where are you going to put it? And number two, what are you going to do about this um, woman down here? Um. I'm going to be as I grab stuff, I'll like cycle back and throw it all into the store. Um, okay, yeah. Not really trying to like set it anywhere, just hurling it in there. Um, and then I'm going to avoid trying to take things out of people's bags because I don't know if they have receipts. I'm not going to check receipts. That's not my job. Didn't sign up for that. Um, so I'll, I'll um I'll let them keep their stolen gains. Okay then. Um. So um. I'll oh, just uh, be right back. Okay. So, um, um, Astro, is there anything that you would like? Yeah. So Astro, um, still in control of this, um, person, he can, um, he can make a, an imposed willpower to break control if it's, if it's been long, but what I want him to do, he's going to, he's going to go over towards where the reporter is and banner, and as he goes over, he's sort of like going to almost like grab the um, grab the microphone um, to get in on the interview. And I'm going to have him say something like, um, I, I just, not me, him, the person that's mind controlling, Astro is going to stay where he is. And he's going to say, um, I just want to say that I know what I did was wrong and I'm prepared to, accept responsibility for my actions and i made up that banner had hurt okay. my leg because yeah. i wanted the Hang publicity let, let, let's just go back a, a bit so this guy who's currently got his hands up against the wall yeah he's going to take his hands down and gonna, start walking over here yeah, he's going to try to get there yeah to get in onto so, the interview so, is Misty and Rabbit aware of your mind control via telepathy or not? Uh, I would say no. They'll, um, yeah. I mean, if 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 they say no, then no, they don't know that I can um, control minds. No, not not that. Oh, you no, no, we know you can do that, but it's it's. Whether or not you are yeah. communicating that you are telling this person to go over to Banner. That, um, that's... Rabbit would probably have uh, an idea um, because she'd be picking up on the um, on what Astro's doing because I'm still in a telepathic link. All right. So, so when so stuff like surface fault, she'll she'll be picking up from Astro just like I'll be picking up her thoughts <laughs> what, uh, okay. that creepy yeah i'm clogging <laughs> the feed with all of my thoughts yeah yeah okay there then um but so, all i'm getting all i'm getting for rabbit was must be time for food must be time for food yeah. must be time for food. <laughs> isn't sloppy's pizzas near here we could get some on the way back okay so, I, so i know i know what you're saying all of a sudden he's going to move and it's whether or not they or take that as a as an action, you know, that he's he's running or you know going Are to you having him run? somebody. And my or is he like walking like a normal Yeah, I mean he, he would he would he, he wouldn't be running, but he would be getting over there as you know. And does does this guy 
therefore hear your surface thoughts and Babbitt's surface thoughts if he's in the party bit. <laughs> Clogging up the feed. Yeah. Well, he, he failed his he failed his he wasn't a non willing subject. So he's he's, he's virtually well. unconscious now for want of a better word. So I, I I would still be picking up his thoughts, but I, I'm controlling his actions. It's, so, it's, it's up to you how you how so you play. Rabbit, it, it doesn't it doesn't say. I mean, all it says in telepathy is if they say if they if they share. Uh, I mean, it it says uh, here is it uses mind to contact the minds of another uh, in action. Here it can initiate a telepathic link allows instantaneous communication of surface faults and images, although both of these must share a common language to understand words. Huh. I've never worked with Banner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so this um um you you recognize what um Astro is doing, Rabbit, and probably inform um uh, Misty as well as this um perp sort of like um walks across and, and gives this um this announcement to this uh re reporter um here. Um Banner, what what would you like to do at, at this point? I'm quite confused about what you're all saying. I barely touched her. I But you did touch her. <laughs> here, she, here, she has to take a here. photo, so I wanted to take a, a photo. A, a selfie, it's called, I think. Just, just roll your insight. Um, insight is not very insightful. You can do it. I press it. One more. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, I can't. No, yeah, you, you, you're not, not too sure um, what's, what's going on here. And this um, other guy, good. this other guy comes up and starts to announce that um, he was faking his leg, and the reporter sort of like um, points the um, camera over to him as well, and sort of like. Um, jostles, jostles round so he can get a, a better um, angle um, of it. And the these sort of like four Ruthvians are uh, just sort of like uh, stood up. Uh, there seems to be a commotion going on over here, but they're, they're aware that um, Rabbit and Misty, you're um, up there uh, as well. So they're sort of like um, standing around. And Misty, you've um, asked for a, a holding van or something to come along and um, um, pick them up. And while you're waiting for that, um, you do notice the Network 7 um, truck appear. And what, what, it... The reporter's name for Network 7, I can't remember her name. It's like Stephanie Powell, not Stephanie Powell. Oh. Um, I, I can't, I can't, I don't want to open up too many windows on my... <laughs> <laughs> Chrome does, um, but it's it's probably you you recognise it that it was the woman who was interviewing um, Shirley Springer at the police station. Um, that's um, who who you see, and um, the network um, seven van pulls up, and she sort of like gets out and sort of like straightens her. Um, outfit out and um, walks a, a little bit further and then sort of like uh, says, Carl, are you ready? Carl. And Carl sort of like puts the uh, video camera um, on his shoulder and she sort of like stands and turns her back towards um, where Rabbit is and the um, um, thugs who are sort of like standing there at the moment. And she, she says, hello, welcome to this, um, this, interaction between the recently um, heroes and um, here on Fashion Parade. It seems to, that there's been some um, looting going on over to one side. We can see the hero called um, Banner. Um, he looks like he's injured somebody, but I'm really interested whether or not the Supers are actually working with the police after Shirley Springer's um, 
previous uh, announcement. And she sort of like looks, she turns around and sort of like looks at you all and sort of like shouts at um, Misty and um, Rabbit in your direction, almost like past the thugs and shout, I, uh, please tell me, Supers, are you supporting the police during this attack on the police force? And she holds a microphone out. Um, you're not too sure whether or not your voice will carry that far, but yeah, what would you like um, to um, do? We have not been specifically asked to help the police, but we are monitoring all signs of activity in the city to help out where we can. She says, she says thank you, Misty. Can you just come a little bit closer to the microphone, please? Um, I will then hover down and genteely step off my cloud and walk in front of her. Um, and what, now that she's got your um, uh, attention, uh, she says, do you think there is a super villain at work here? Well, only time will tell. Time will tell before we recognise a super villain. Do you think it's possible? Well, I don't think it's possible, to be quite honest. Anything is possible. So, yes, there could be a supervillain involved here. Uh, but also, no, there could be a supervillain involved here. We, you don't know. Yes and no. Should, should the public be worried about the possibility of a supervillain out there infecting the public? The public should be concerned about how the public, the public should be acting, concerned about how the public are acting at the moment. The public people? are acting. Yes. Indeed. Do you they have should, any do you have any advice? It's illegal. Do you have any advice for the public or the perpetrators of crime at the moment, Misty? Do not loot. Do not commit crimes, otherwise we will find you. you and Banner will say hello and have a selfie. You you heard it straight from Misty's voice there. Perpetrators of crime do not do no looting or Banner will get you. And she sort of like turns back uh, to the camera and says, not what we were expecting so early on in this at virus attack on the police station. But obviously the supers are out here protecting the streets from crime. They seem to have arrested four um, people when Banner is having selfies with a crowd. And yes, it seems that we has been a really interesting point here. Keep tuned to Network 7. Now back to the studio. And she just sort of like stops talking and she turns around to Carl and said, Carl, Van. And Carl sort of like takes his video back in and, and she um, hops into the actual uh, uh, van. Um, a few minutes later. Uh, I, I'll, I want to interact up over here with uh, yeah. the guy. So you regret your decision to commit crime, citizen? That will be Astros. Oh, sorry. You're talking to, you're talking to, yeah, yeah. Um, you're talking to this. He's talking um, to you. Yeah. 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 So um, he goes, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I truly, I truly do. Uh, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to turn my life around. I'm, I'm going to train to be a doctor. And he turns to the person, probably the, the, the crowd and specifically the, the guy holding the camera. Remember, kids, crime is no good, and eventually you will regret your decisions. Remember, the righteous path is the only path. Somebody shouts from the crown. It's touching a crime banner. You did admit you touched her. <laughs> because she asked me for a selfie. I only touched her on the shoulder. You gave her more than a selfie. It's the, the person that Astro's controlling will... Um, sort of like say she probably made it all up just like I did for the publicity and the, the, the money and the fame shame on you miss shame on you the, this um, woman here bursts into tears at, at the um, accusation and what her friend says I bet you're working with Banner aren't you the police cut truck has arrived um Rabbit and Misty, and they're herding the the perpetrators. Oh, sure. um, 
Okay. into the um, van. The, one of the officers says to you, Misty, um, that she, he just wants to know the crime that they've committed so they can actually um, deal with it. Breaking, entering and burglary. Okay. The one okay. that Astro's controlling, he'll have him put his hands on the back of his, um, behind his um, head and have him walk over and get into the van. Off and you go, criminal. And as soon as he's in the van, um, Astro will drop the... Um, the mind control. Yeah, and the the um, the perps in the back of the van um, leave, and you you notice that um, Network Seven continues to um, film them as the the van moves off. Um, so yeah, just just the only bit here to um, tidy up at the moment, Banner, is with you. Uh, um, do you have any parting words? Or are you just going to um, bound off? Remember, kids. Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, pay your taxes. Unless they ask for too many taxes, then, you know, just change your name. But whatever. Have a good day, everyone. And then I'm bound off. Uh, yes, uh, and don't do crime. They sort of like they the the camera. Um, this guy um follows you off um with with your cam with his camera. Um, yeah, and you um, what about the rest of you now? Uh, a rabbit probably fled the moment um all the criminals were put in the van because she didn't like how her interview went. So she's probably off at the pizza place or uh no, a convenience store getting some of uh, some of those foods. Nice, nice. And what about Misty and Astro? Well, I'm gonna fly over to the group, just gently hover over to the group. And in a the most commanding voice I can do, I will simply say, please disperse. Just because the police are ill doesn't give you a right to steal. If uh, you have stolen, we will find you. Do you I have, have any a special uh, set of skills? I, yeah, I was going to say, do, do you have an inter intimidation role? No, do you have influence? That's all I have. I need to have Okay. okay. So you use your influence <laughs> and try to be a little bit less threatening uh, and, and see see what we... uh are uh, good. Yet. Um, yeah, there, there seems to be um, muttering and they they sort of like start to um, home. disband. And you notice that um, this guy here, this reporter guy, um, walks is walking with the um, the woman that Banner touched allegedly and oh, her, her, her friend. And they seem to um, walk off um, together. And then, um, and what's um, Astro doing? Um, Astro is going to wait, and as soon as they see that the the crowd is starting to disperse, they'll um, they'll create a portal using the destiny the um, where they started off from as a yeah. destination, and then um, and then step through. Okay, brilliant. So back at. Um, Misty's house, I think you were at. Is that right? Indeed, yep. The yeah. House in the Hamptons. Um, That's so, our HQ. So you all um, uh, appear back um, there after um, the instant, uh, both Banner's instant and the instant at Fashion Parade. And it, there's an opportunity for you to talk as a team. Um, before I give you the next piece of information, if you wish. All right, Banner, <laughs> I, w I want you to come to my office tomorrow and talk to me as Sophia, not Misty, and we'll have a chat about your predicament and how we can stop it. Who's Sophia? Oh, you know who Sophia is. <laughs> I'll pick up a picture from the sideboard and go, hmm. And hold oh, I, I, yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> mm, is she your sister? I, I don't understand. Yeah, she's my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll talk to your sister tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Does she like Thanks. pizza? Only on Saturdays. Oh, of course. 
Um, e excellent. Um, anybody else want to talk to anybody else or say or do anything and, until we move on to the next scene? We, we really need to figure out our, um, our, our approach here as a team with uh, how we handle the media because we're kind of all over the place. And admittedly, I'm one of those that's all over the place, but I feel like we really- No, you're, you're not all over the place, Rabbit. You're normally a, a stride people. That's what that's it is. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I just, I, uh, really? maybe when we get these orders from Oliver, um, we, we should probably think about a, a plan more than just running in. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't know what I was doing there. And the more we were there, it felt like uh, we were being set up by the media we were. to make us look bad. Yeah. Astro's okay. voice will come Very through neat. on the link and he'll say, we should be given more time to find out what is happening with the police force. Then it will free us from having to do so much of their work. Oh, yeah, that would make sense because that just felt like petty crime. And we're kind of like about big crime. But Banner loves big crime. I love big and, crime. And to be quite honest, we're tackling big crime. We're not being paid to round up petty criminals. No. We're not? Then no. why'd we take the job? Oh, because no. it's the right thing to do. Yeah, yes, you're, you're right. right. You're right, Misty. And the more of these minor incidents that we have to deal with, the more issues we will have with the I, one that has taken the name Banner. I agree, Astra, but my other important thing is each one, each job we go to will wear us out. And if something big happens, after doing little pet shoplifting jobs, we may not be able to cope with the big thing that happens next. But we need to get down to the bottom of the police problem as well, like um, whoever said, yes. Perhaps that is the plan all along. Mm. Maybe a long look. Are you echoing a long <laughs> And um, um, Yes, yeah, so if any small jobs like this get called through to us again, we will pass on them. Right. So wait, 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 that, that shouldn't be a, a whole hard and fast rule. Maybe well, he's no, uh, true, leading. True. We, might, we might say maybe we can pass on that, but if there's a murder situation, we oh, should no, probably go true. and, and yeah, save yeah, the yeah. hostage. It, it, it is. It's not going to be, oh, shop, shoplifter, deal with it. Um, oh, someone's been kidnapped. Oh, well, we'll go find him. It's not going to be, yeah, you're exactly right. It's not a hard and fast rule of passing on every job. We'll, yeah, yeah, every, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll listen to every job on merit. Right. Um, right. So let me just get this right. So, um, so Shirley Springer asked you to do the jobs that come through from the dispatcher. Um, yeah. So what you're going to say is that you're going to listen to what the job is and then either tell your dispatcher, no, I'm sorry, we're not doing that, or yes, we will do that. Maybe more like we're unavailable if, if yeah. we choose not to. Um, if it's a job that secure, the, the shop, more security can do, then fair enough, because all these shops should have security. Okay, so um, just before we go to the break, no, to end, sorry, we don't have another break. Um, so the, the next job that comes through, say, um, is to help an old lady with a cat up a tree. Well, yeah, yeah we're going to take so, that. We're going to send rabbit. <laughs> yeah. um, I, that, the, I mean, we're not going to just leave cats in trees. That's no. barbaric. I fear the cat. So it, so, so I tell you what we'll do then. So, um, each job that comes up, that comes to you from Oliver, you can say to me, yes, we're taking that, or no, we're not taking that, yeah? Yeah. Pretty I mean, I was like, going to try and pretty argue. Pretty much like the police do in the UK already. But go, sorry. Oh, I was going to try and argue each one is important, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, every, uh, every child is safe. Right. I think, uh, um, speaking out of character, I think we should still take we we should take all the jobs because that's what we've been assigned to do. But maybe <laughs> try to resolve it in a way that we're not using so much of our, our powers. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's come to the end of time. So I just want oh. to oh, no. I just want to finish um this session with um the, the next um, communication with you, it doesn't come from um, Oliver. 
Um, it comes from um, Shirley Springer herself. Um, mm -hmm. She talks in rather a, almost like a, an annoyed tone. And she doesn't, shows the cause connected. She doesn't, um, she doesn't bother with pleasantries or anything like that. She just automatically starts to talk. And she says, right, we've managed to locate how the virus affected so many staff at that, what, the same time. It was in the coffee vendor machines. Caffeine is part of the stable diet of any police officer. And as soon as the first coffee was brewed, it was spread. We've removed as many of the pre-produced coffee pods as possible, so the infection rate should start to decrease. We do not want the public to know this yet. In fact, we are not even sure we will make it public. We don't want the people of Metro City thinking the police force is a group of coffee addicts. We have people locating where that particular batch of coffee pods came from, and we will forward the location to you as soon as we have it. But please use your discretion when entering the company. We are not sure who is involved, and many of the workers there might be innocent. And she sort of like um, just pauses on that one. And then says, any questions? Yeah, Banner, any questions? <laughs> oh, Banner. Mm. Did, you, did you follow that? The part about they're mostly innocent? The may, the, the, the mostly may innocent. innocent. Maybe innocent. Maybe innocent. So it's, yeah. Um, she, you know she what? Then... Possibly no innocent. By she, Lady Liberty's heaving prison, all guilty. I will wait for you to tell me what to do. <laughs> she then says... I'll send more information by myself or via your dispatcher, uh, Officer Ollie Olson. Talking of your dispatcher, there's a call incoming. Oh, and before I leave, I need to make it quite clear to the supers. You are not, I repeat, you are not above the law. Action will be taken. Okay. We know. We'll, we'll and she clicks. And she morning. clicks. She clicks oh, off. Oh, bitch! Any questions <laughs> on that last part, Banner? Um, you are definitely going to my office. She's not morning. here. You can't. And all of a sudden, a flash grenade comes through the window. There's an almighty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and SWAT storms in. <laughs> okay, Quick, so bam, bam. we we will leave it um, there as the um, next call from um your dispatch officer will come in at the start of the next um session I so think it's a triage basis so well yeah and then you can you can decide whether or not you're you're uh accepting or not um right so let's um rounding that off for today let me just put you all back onto that um, screen um so yeah so before we go on thank you to everybody uh for the players tonight for coming along playing and thank you for everybody in the chat contributing and saying fantastic lines for banner um he can watch it back and pick all your i do like your brush your teeth and don't forget <laughs> to brush your teeth um and what um rabbit is going to a good gas station chicken not the other one oh. uh, um how do they pay how do they pay rent the coffee monsters teachers mad again yeah most definitely um rabbit is uh mr pickles is anything that you would like to say uh, to advertise uh, while you've got a moment yes i am mr pickles i do a, a podcast show um I say every week, but they might be there might be new people here. So it's a podcast show with my friend Brad um, called And I took that personally. It's on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, it's just him and I talk about movies and take things a little too personally. Um, we're still working on Ghostbusters, but it's hard to schedule time sometimes. Anyways, for that. Uh, it's it's going to be a good one once we finally find time to sit down and record. Um, <sighs> that's really the roadblock right there because he's always in a different time the case, zone. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, that's me, and I took it personally. And, personally. 
And Misty, anything that you would like to advertise? Kind of. Well, this week we're taking a break, but normally on a Sunday night we'd be doing Solasta. Uh, we're doing a six-man grave run at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, nice. On Monday we do a um, God Deathlands Reloaded, a nineteen sorry an eighteen eighties cowboy alternate future type. Oh, lovely, game, excellent, very very good. And of course, on our Thursday nights, we're at, at the moment we're doing uh, Pathfinder Abomination Vaults, Pathfinder Two E Abomination Vaults. We will be swapping back to Warhammer Fantasy after Christmas. Ooh. Mm. nice after christmas um excellent um uh, chuck 